is here, so I'm just going to tell you what we do here real quick. I'm a naturopath, an herbalist, a certified dietary supplement specialist, and getting certified as a colon hydrotherapist. Angel, who owns this side of the building, um, she's a certified colon hydrotherapist, and we have four massage therapists here, far infrared sauna, ear candling, and ion foot baths are the services that they offer. Um, Spirit of Health, we have a couple mottos we go by. One is, we love God, we love people, we love health. And the other one is, the spirit of health is in you. We feel like everybody has the ability to achieve vibrant health and be perfectly healthy, be their own best doctor. Sometimes it just takes some knowledge and some encouragement, uh, especially in this world we live in today. So, so today's topic is cardiovascular health, which uh, Everything's important, but nothing's more important really than cardiovascular health because it's the number one killer in America. And it doesn't have to be, and it absolutely should not be because all these cardiovascular problems we having are having are completely related to lifestyle. I'll just get right off into it. Uh, it has nothing to do with genetics. It's 100% lifestyle and the way we live. Um, if you want to blame a little bit on genetics, you can maybe go 1% to 2% there, but 99% of it is your choices that you make on a daily basis. And there are studies that prove that. I always encourage people to research on their own, study on their own. I'll be happy to provide you articles and other information and other research. Um, but there's plenty of research and studies done on this subject. So the first thing we're going to talk about, and I always tell people if you have questions, raise your hand right away, ask them. And uh, <laughs> yeah, just hand around. Thank you. If you have questions, just throw it up right when you think of it, so you don't forget it, mm -hmm. especially if you don't have a pen. Tonight's handout's really long. There's just so much good stuff. I could made it probably made it like 30 pages, but it's like nine pages long because there's a lot of good stuff on there. So don't get too busy reading it because I really want you to pay attention to me, but we'll, we'll refer to it maybe a couple of times. Um, but there's some good information for you there to read later. <coughs> and you can take notes on it or whatever you want. Okay, so another thing I always tell people is we always go over an hour, so if you need to leave, that's okay, but we'll probably absolutely go over an hour, because that's just the way we, we work here. <clears throat> so the first thing is, what is the cardiovascular system? What is the function of the cardiovascular system? Why is it so important to our health? An amazing statistic of the cardiovascular system, it's uh, 100,000 miles of veins, arteries, and capillaries. Can you possibly imagine that, the scope of that? Inside your body is 100,000 miles of network. And the job of that system is obviously multiple different functions, um, but the heart has to pump blood throughout the entire body. The arteries pump the blood to the organs in the body. And then through the capillaries, it gets it to the, to the tissues and the cells. And then the deoxygenated blood has to return back to the heart, and that's the function of the veins. So that entire system has to work together perfectly in harmony, or you will develop issues. Um, blood is a combination of solids and liquids. It's 45% solid, which is the red blood cells. And it's 55% liquid, which is the plasma. You've probably heard of people donating plasma. That's just the liquid part of the blood without the red blood cells. Um, the multiple functions of it is to obviously move oxygen through the body. Very important function, obviously, without oxygen we wouldn't survive. That's one of the reasons when you iron in the red blood cells, that's what transports the oxygen to the cells. It also protects us from disease. Um, it's an important part of the immune system. Um, keeping the blood clean is very important, especially in Chinese medicine. In Chinese medicine, they believe you have good, clean, healthy blood, and you will live a long, healthy life. Uh, to them, it's simple as that. Uh, it's one of the main uh, important functions in Chinese medicine. It also regulates hormones and regulates your body temperature, regulates <coughs> salt and water intake, um, so it serves a lot of different functions, very important. And, but in America, we get a lot of dysfunctions in that system, which 
don't have to be, and we're, we're going to get into that. So those are the basic functions of the cardiovascular system. What is important for a healthy cardiovascular system? Oxygen. That's why we need to exercise. We definitely live uh, more sedentary lives than we ever have. And there's nothing more important to getting oxygen in the body than exercising. And exercising, I always tell people, exercising doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be joining a gym and getting a gym membership and walking on the treadmill. And some people like to do that, but I absolutely hate it. So just walking. Walking is the best, best, most simple thing you can do. Um, much prefer walking outside in nature than walking on a treadmill. It's much healthier for you. Um, I'm a living testament of what walking can do. I, when I was over 220 pounds from working a desk job, I moved to France and in four months I lost 42 pounds without even blinking. I just walked everywhere. I had to walk to work, I had to walk home from work. And at night I walked around the city because I was in Lyon, France and it was absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to see like every nook and cranny of it. So I just walked. And I didn't know anything about nutrition back then. I ate bread and cheese, I was in France, it was awesome. But I walked. And that's all it took for me to lose 42 pounds. So there's simple things you can do. Um, but remember, it's all lifestyle. It's all lifestyle factors you have to. If you're missing one component, it can totally throw you off. Minerals are very important for the strength of the uh, cardiovascular system. To me, it's the foundation. You can't have a strong heart. You can't have strong veins and arteries and capillaries if you don't have minerals in your body. Okay. Uh, they know vitamin C is critical to the integrity and strength of your of your blood vessels. That's one of the reasons vitamin C is so important. You guys know the history of vitamin C? It's pretty cool. So we're already going to go over an hour, so I'm going to just throw this out there. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C was discovered by a Polish scientist, um, actually through peppers. And when he, when he discovered vitamin C, he's like, oh, wow, this vitamin C is an awesome substance. Let's do some tests on it. And, you know, you've heard of scurvy. People get in scurvy where the veins and arteries start to get really weak and you start to bleed internally and the gums start to bleed. So he gave the, this, the peppers to people and it totally reversed all symptoms of scurvy. So he's like, wow, I really got something here. Well, when he further isolated out, he finally isolated all the way out to where he found ascorbic acid. But when he did the same test with ascorbic acid, he had no results. And if you look at the back of most supplement bottles these days, what's on it? Ascorbic acid which is a complete waste of time. Um, the studies he was doing and that were successful was the combination of the whole plant working synergistically together with the vitamin C. That's what works, not isolate minerals like vitamin C. And when people were coming over on the ships over here, they were all getting scurvy and they were dying. And the Native Americans actually taught the Americans how to avoid that. They just said, hey, see these pine trees right here? These needles? Make a tea. They started making a tea out of the pine needles, and guess what? No more scurvy. But what's funny about governments then and today is they're exactly the same. Nothing's changed. They went back and they told the government about it, and the government's like, no way. So they still let thousands of people die of scurvy before they finally figured out that vitamin C was in limes. So they started carrying limes on the ship, and that's why they called them limes. So that's a fun story. Um, good fats is another thing that's very important for the cardiovascular system, and cholesterol is a component of that and very critical for the cholesterol system. We'll, we're going to get into why this war on cholesterol that we have is an absolute, one of the most absolute ignorant things that we could possibly be doing and we're going to realize that it's one of the silliest things we've ever done in the history of medicine. Um, but it'll probably take a few more years before all that comes, comes out. They're too, making too much money off the statin drips right now. <coughs> um, so those